Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will be heading... Sue, I hate to interrupt you, and we've had a very good look back at the men's finals today, but we've got a little something oh, for you. Oh, don't you dare So will you just have a quick oh, look back oh, at oh, the last oh, 30 okay. years? No, Watch this. No, Here right we now. go. Oh, this is going to be really embarrassing. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. So it's time to say goodbye and farewell to the wonderful Susan Barker. Good evening. Well, the men's singles final, as it should be, was between the two best players in the world. No easy job, I'll tell you that. It means everything to me. Uh, I mean, I just uh, live tennis. You see the thing about our Sue? She just is Wimbledon. Very well done, Keep Sue. Work. <laughs> Don't you there. start <laughs> again. See that one more time. No, you can't. From Wow in a pack center court in the semifinals. That's a marvelous pass. Advantage, Miss Barker. To be in the face of the sport on your television set for 30 years. She's lived it. She understands it. She understands the highs and lows at Wimbledon as a player. Sue's just the best French Open champion and, and uh, then made the most amazing transition to the media. On with the tennis and Tim Henman's mission was to provide some antidote for English depression. As a tennis player, you were so quiet and you didn't say boo. I love playing matches. I'm not the type that can just sit around and practice at home. I like to be in the atmosphere and with tennis people. And then all of a sudden you become this outspoken, articulate, you know, wonderfully knowledgeable tennis presenter. And I'm joined by nine times champion Martina Navratilova. She was a great champion on, on and off the court. Whenever she's on the screen, you always feel better when she's out there. And, uh, you know, she makes you feel better about yourself even when you're not involved, which is pretty magical. 34 seconds on time. It was the summer of 1993 when Sue first sat in the presenter's chair here for the BBC. The next fortnight will be brightened by the sunny smile of the lady who was a Wimbledon semi-finalist and the French Open champion. Welcome, Sue Barker. What are you going to say about Sue? She's been brilliant and she's formed this wonderful partnership with this institution of, of Wimbledon, which is the class act of British sport with the BBC, the class act of British Broadcasting. After yesterday's excitement, the top seeds were holding court today. She's done everything here at the All England, interviewed the greats. The Serena Slam, it's happened! <laughs> I can't believe I'm standing here with another Serena Slam. Been there for the highs. And you've had so much support from back home and from everyone here. What's your message to them? Thanks to everybody. Oh, that's great. Congratulations, Roger Federer. And the lows. Right, I'm going to try this and it's not going to be easy. No point giving me numbers, just point to a cat. That one. She's kept us informed and entertained. But just before we look ahead to today's highlights, there were two British players out on the court. Oh, Sue is fun. She is fantastic. You are so wonderful. You are so funny. Wow. There will never be anybody like you. And Sue's talents in front of the camera weren't exclusive to tennis. She's covered it all. Hello and welcome to A Question of Sport. Welcome back to the Fila Forum. Last night alone on our way home. All the British stars from the Olympics are here tonight. Susan, it was brilliant. It was, um... <laughs> For a toss-up between for all wedding and seeing you, Sue, and um, <laughs> I had to let him down. Oh, I'm yes, sorry, so I, I couldn't go. I'm oh, sorry. I, I'd love to believe you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> now you're off from Wimbledon. That means we can spend the rest of our lives together. Wait, get me a taxi to Sue Barker's house, pronto. It's got to stop, Sue. What? Did it mean nothing go to Go over there. She's an animal. All good things must come to an end. After 30 years of covering this tournament magnificently, please give it up for Sue Barker. Yeah. Thank you for everything you've done for the game of tennis. Interviews on court, you made me cry. 
I wish you all the very best for the future. And again, thank you for those incredible 30 years and everything you've done. Sue, you had a tremendous career. You are a wonderful person with integrity and I wish you the best of luck. Go have some fun with your husband and I hope we can always be friends. You have been a great friend, a great tennis player and just a wonderful commentator and presenter. Your class act, Sue. Uh, it won't be the same without you. What I've grown up watching you on the TV and then obviously being interviewed by you here many times. You're going to be sadly missed by everyone who loves and watches tennis. Hi Rafa. Wow. Thank you for all the great things that you did uh, during all these uh, years. Uh, we will miss you and wish you all the very best in, in your future. Your professionalism, your patience with me was always appreciated. I've tried to emulate your uh, professionalism ever since. You're a true uh, gem. Congratulations. The perfect person to be presenting, to be interviewed by, to be sitting next to in the commentary box because she just makes you feel comfortable. We'll miss her massively but uh, hopefully it will give her more time to uh, you know, get to the Royal Box in the evening and have a few more glasses of champagne. So I look forward to that. Sue just uh, took the role and ran with it. And uh, yeah, she's giving up the baton, but I'm not sure anybody can pick it up. You know, I think Sue's the best presenter they've ever had. Number one, no matter what. From now on, John McEnroe's gonna be commentating on court 17 after that, going off script. I will miss you, Sue. Everyone will miss you. And all that is left for me to say now is thank you. You are simply the best. But that's it for Wimbledon. A tournament full of shock results and an emotional farewell. From all of us here at Wimbledon, goodbye. <laughs>And I think it's fair to say we've broken her. Listen to this crowd all chanting Sue's name. Billie Jean has joined us as well. Because, Billie Jean, you always say, if you can't see it, you can't be it. Well, if and you've got Sue Parker, she's been She's the GOAT! For so many women. Women, men and women. She's an amazing example. Uh, if you want to be presenter, you want to be the best in the field of broadcasting, Sue Barker. I told you, she's the GOAT. Best ever. Thank you. And, and I think Tim there promised a permanent seat in the Royal Box and endless champagne. He said it. Well, he's the member. It's open invitation. Any day, any time. Champagne's on the house. Can I just say it's, it's been an absolute privilege. I've loved it. 30 amazing years. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you, Billie Jean, for coming. I got it. Sue, you're the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> All I remember is when she's at the camera and she kids. <laughs> and then I all always, of a sudden, she's gonna burn her, fun. She can burn her earpiece <laughs> after this. She can actually watch tennis. You don't need that earpiece anymore. And, and Pat, you look at something like that in that film, you see how much has changed and how much Sue has been a part of that. And her interaction with the crowd, with the audience, is absolutely crucial. Well, I, I'm not sure who, is, who said it so well, but. You make us feel comfortable. On the, mm -hmm. You make us feel comfortable. And I've never, I'm sure you have been flustered, but you're, you're Novak Djokovic out there. You don't look <laughs> flustered. And it's a great quality to when you sit down and have a chat about tennis and you make us feel comfortable. You make us feel loved. Oh, thank you. I've, I've you really loved do. It. I've loved it. Well, you're a fellow player, and I think that's what makes us feel so comfortable. We know you've been through it. Yes. So we go, okay, she knows. She yeah. gets it. The highs, the lows, and all that goes with it. How did she make us look good over these, all these years? <laughs> we needed it. Took a long <laughs> effort. <laughs> effort. <laughs> and and occasionally you needed corralling, and she did that too, with kindness. But honestly, from the broadcasting point of view, huge team of people behind the scenes, as you know, who are all going to miss you horribly. And I just genuinely think what you do on camera is so special, that mixture of professionalism, but genuine warmth and honesty. And, and it's very special. Okay. Well, I'll, all I'll say is that I miss the job. I wish I've had the next 30 years to do. I love it. But most of all, I'm going to miss the people I work with in front of the camera, Thank behind you. the camera. You've just been absolutely amazing. And I've uh, been so proud to front the programme. So thank you. Oh, well done, well, Sue. Cheers. Well <laughs>